Hi, I'm Nitin Batra. I represent CNS Oceania team and I manage a couple of key relationships in Oceania. And with me, I have Numan Shirazi. He is Head of Transformation for Technology Service Operations at TPG Telecom Australia, which is a marquee customer for CNS. Numan, thank you for joining us. One of the areas which, which is very passionate to your heart, uh, I'd like to more more about how you are managing the service operation transformation and what are you doing about Correct. Thank you, uh, Nathan, for the introduction. Uh, within TPG Telecom, uh, we are going through a massive transformation at the moment in relation to our IT and digital stack. Uh, it's a three to five year journey where uh, we are modernizing and centralizing and consolidating a lot of all of our IT assets that support our consumer business units. In parallel, we have embarked on um, transformation of our operations network and IT operations teams where we are implementing now a global service operations center focused on the key capabilities around autonomous operations and customer centricity. The entire idea for global service operations for us is bringing the voice of the customer as close to the network and IT decision making. One of the key things for us in this in this transformation is, as I said, voice of customer bringing mm -hmm. that in. The sentiment that needs to be implemented within our models is absolutely key. Understanding customer sentiment, how they have perceived the network experience on their handheld device or at home is extremely important. Now there's many different sources of customer mm -hmm. sentiment. There is the NPS data, there is the town detector information, there's the Okla, there's a social media platform, there are customer complaints within coming through within our customer care organization. So it's about bringing all of that data into our network decision making to make sure that the things that we are doing, A, are relevant to our customers, that we are spending our money wisely within the organization, and that our customers will stay with us for longer and, and, and support our business as well. So how are you managing the key pillars of this transformation? Look, um, uh, Nitin, uh, the, the challenges around a transformation like this have got three key dimensions, mm -hmm. right? The three key dimensions are technology, what tools we're using, what, pe what processes we're implementing, and the most important one in this is our people. Yep. We have a very strong uh, community of engineers within, within our organization and uh, through our partners that have a lot of the information around the network and our IT systems. Yep. They understand what, what a component of a service is doing or a network is doing for our customers. It is absolutely critical now for us as we embark on the technology service uh, operations journey implementing the SOC in the organization is to make sure that those engineers are part of uh, helping us find solutions and, and bring the customer-centric views into that. Now that does require some skill sets that will need to be um, evolved, right? And and some of the skill set around data, data mindset, right? Having data scientists within the team, having the development mindset, it's a, a lot of the, a lot of our networking engineers are very open to growing in this journey with us to pick up new skills around, say, for example, Python as a development tool, right? Or learning orchestration and stuff. Brilliant. Look, you've talked about these three dimensions, yep. but is there an overlap? Is there a sweet spot of how do you uh, balance these three dimensions? The three O's, technology, people and processes, have to overlap and harmonize almost along the same lines, yep. right? They all almost have to be um, aligned. Now, the sweet spot is going to be when we have um, a lot of our technology, the tools that we are using and selecting for the future are the right tools for the future. So that's, we've got to make sure that those tools are, are, are the right tool sets for us, which we have been working on very closely with the Nokia team as well, understanding what are some of the automation use cases that will deliver some of the capabilities we're looking at for in autonom autonomous operations. Um, and then also updating the new processes that are required to manage automation. Now, auto autonomous network or in autonomous operations has to have an important aspect of decision making. At what stage would you allow for um, for an automatic automation yeah. yep. or where you need to have a human a manual intervention, intervention correct. decision yep. making. 
obviously our policies and procedures have to you know come alongside with this as well our change management our incident management the onboarding processes and things like that all have to be revised in in in, in harmonization with what technologies we're using yeah. the third element as i said the sweet spot is how quickly we evolve our people to the new skill sets uh, of the future yeah. great uh, my last question uh, how is nokia helping you Look, Nokia has been a great partner in relation to understanding our journey. Um, we have been speaking about a journey with the Nokia teams on on many different occasions, and Nokia team is understanding what those what the key capabilities for the future will be for us. We are um, exploring new ways of working. We have consulted, or we've had uh, had Nokia come in and provide a consulting services through their advisory council to help us form the service operation mm -hmm. strategy. Mm -hmm build our roadmaps, build our use cases that are going to be implemented in the future that would help us become a customer-centric technology service operations. Numan, thanks a lot for coming by and having a conversation with us. Really great to have you here. Thank you so much for the opportunity.